Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim Ferguson and I'm just doing a second video in my series of getting back to the basics, planning how I'll be working. There's my list of products that I have in my room as well as my upcoming August calendar. I do keep a list of all the things that I've committed to in that calendar. I use my Close to My Heart products for probably 90% of my projects. And so we do have currently three catalogs that are live. We have the core catalog from last year, we have the new year catalog, and we have our July through September. These are different sketches and commitments that I have coming up. Can't show you all of it because some of it is private and comes up at the day that I post my videos. But I wanted to share these totally Tiffany file folders that I have where I'm going to be planning into. So you can see there's several different pockets to where I can put my photos in. I can collect maybe the stamps I want to put in, any cardstock, pattern paper, embellishments basically anything I'm thinking I want to add. So you can see that's an Easter picture in there. So I would go to my Easter category to pull things to put in here and then I'm ready when I sit down to create. I just purchased these so that's why they're so empty but I wanted to get on here and show you how I'm planning currently. So in my list on my basic planning I listed embossing folders and so here how is how I can go in and find out what I have. I have embossed samples and put them in this binder, numbered them, and they are in a large tub together. Same thing with my thin or die cuts, however you refer to them. I've done the same thing. I've done a sample of each one, put them in these binders, and you can see how I have those little tabs on there telling me which bin they're in. And then I also have my stamp inventory. A lot of people have digital versions, but I start on the paper, so I leave it on here. I do have two binders. I probably need to move into a third that shows all of my stamps by themes. So let me remind you, make a list of what you have in your craft room that you can pull from. This is just a good visual to see what you have available. Get out a calendar, plan out your dates, and have some fun 